This is take three. Okay, so, good morning YouTube. This is a little bit of a strange uh, video and uh, one that I'm doing to hold myself accountable, okay? So I would like to introduce you to my tub. Okay, so, this is a tub with cold water. I've got crystals in it and um, There is uh, salt, some homeopathic remedies from beautiful Jenny, and so this is uh, my cold water tub that I have been neglecting, which means I've been neglecting myself. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm really pushing my boundaries here because who wants to get on a swimsuit and jump in cold water in front of thousands of people. However, take him on for the team. Um, it's also very early in the morning and um, you know, after this I have a shower. So I haven't brushed my teeth or anything, okay? So don't go judging on me. <sighs> anyway, we're gonna jump in here and I'm gonna explain why I do this and why I'm doing this video. So <laughs> I really, really don't wanna do this this morning. Anyway, here we go. Okay. So cold. Okay, so what I need to do first of all is I need to regulate my breathing. Okay, so I'm not going to talk for a little minute just while I get myself in here uh, and, then, and I'm going to chat, okay? What's happening right now is my mind is telling me don't get in there it's freezing what you're doing you're crazy okay but I know that I feel great after it so I'm having a little bit of an internal battle uh, and I'm pushing my comfort zone okay which is really important okay so anyway just in case you wonder I'm not again getting no I'm not again no I don't want to get Okay, the sun is right in front of me. Okay, so let me chat to you a little bit about cold water therapy. I'm no expert, okay? Uh, and if you guys are interested in this, I could maybe get somebody on who is an expert in this field, okay? Um, but my journey with cold water started in at the beginning of December. And... Uh, I'd basically on Facebook seen a beautiful woman called Lilia Sinclair of Heal Scotland uh, getting cold water every, every day, um, but naturally in, in locks and streams and burns. And I was like, whoa. So one day I decided that I was going to do it. And it was the beginning of December, so it's freezing. I'm in Scotland, right? So it's very cold. In fact, it's maybe the end of November. Anyway. So what I did was... I decided I've got a little burn, like a little stream down at the bottom of my garden. So uh, I decided that I was going to try this. Right. I believe in pushing comfort zones. I believe in um, challenging yourself. Now we'd got into, um, well, it hadn't been a, a lockdown uh, at that point, but I knew we were going into another one. So. Um, oh, a little fly landed in the water. <laughs> fly away, fly. Oh, it's having a little drink. 
That's funny. I don't know if I would drink that water. There's salt and stuff in it, little fly. Anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what I did was I uh, decided that I would go into the burn one day um, in, in the middle of winter. <laughs> and, uh, yes, yeah, so I put on my swimming costume and I walked to the burn and I got to the burn and my head's like, don't be so stupid. So then I walked back up. I got to the top and I'm like, come on, Joanne, you could do this. And I walked back down to the burn and then I walked back up. And anyway, this went on for about 15 minutes. I was going through this internal battle, right, of uh, trying to get in this cold water because your body doesn't want to do it. You don't want to get in the cold water. Oh, there's the sun. Oh, so good. Uh, so you don't want to get in the cold water, right? You, everything, everything goes against it. Everything's like, don't be so stupid. So anyway, I, uh decided to get in the burn and, and there was like this much water it wasn't deep at all and I lay in the water and I'm like oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and after like a minute I couldn't feel my vagina okay it was frozen I got a little bit of a scare I clambered out <laughs> clambered outside of the burn I was like I, I don't know how to do this I need help so uh, I contacted the beautiful uh, Lilia and had a, an hour session with her and she um, talked me through what to do so uh, then what I did was I bought a tub so like like this one and um, I would just jump in it and you know stay until you know start a minute two minutes three minutes and uh, I realized how awesome I was feeling after this like it's very hard to describe, but when you come out of cold water, and particularly, you know, natural water, so, which you need to be very careful with, okay, but, um, you know, the sea and rivers and your, it's like magic running through your veins, it's the only way I can describe it, and it really lifts my vibration, so, but the reason I'm doing this, okay, and I'm, I'm doing this on YouTube is I need to start holding myself accountable. You guys all know that I've been really busy recently and I've, I've let this slip. And it is, it is part of my daily routine that really helps clear me and center me and ground me and lift me and keep me in a high vibration. So what I decided to do was for the next 21 days, hold myself accountable to get back in this cold water. Um, because it's 10 minutes a day and it really helps me with um, just keeping cool and being happy and uh, I just feel I just feel so alive after I've been in cold water it really raises my vibration um, and it just sets me up for the day when I jump in here and I've got no excuse because you know it's it's warmer now than it certainly was when I did this I mean I've done this in the snow and the ice. In fact, I broke a tub uh, with the ice. And so what I've done is um, we created this pyramid over the water because it charges the water. Okay, so the intention that is placed in the water is to reset, recharge and clear my energy. Uh, I've programmed all the crystals in the water. If you can see any in there. Um, and there's crystals around about the water and as I say there is uh, sea salt in the water which is very cleansing uh, Jenny's homeopathic remedies and here I've got uh, spiritual uplift and divine protection uh, so this is about um, although there's so many health benefits you can google it you can find it yourself the health benefits are awesome but for me this is about energy and it's about uh, setting myself up for the day it's about pushing myself because I didn't want to get in here today but now that I have I'm going to feel awesome for it so it's about pushing pushing boundaries and um, pushing myself allowing myself to feel uncomfortable you know uh, feeling the fear and doing it anyway how do you beat fear you, you conquer them by by challenging them and and hitting them face on um so this is me starting my cold water journey again. I'm going to document it for the next 21 days and I'm putting it on YouTube to hold myself accountable for it. 
Um, so here I am, day one, uh, 10 minutes. Please don't do this straight away, okay? You don't just jump in cold water and sit in it for 10 minutes. There are dangers associated with this. Um, as I say, I've been doing this, I, you know, I, I'm aware um, of, of what my, my body can um, withstand and what it can't. So um, if you guys are interested, let me know and I can maybe see if I can record a little video with. Uh, there's a couple of people I know that have a lot of information and can support people on their cold water journey. Um, it's really helped me. Um, but for the next 21 days, I'm gonna I'm gonna document my journey. I'm gonna come in here. Uh, I'm pushing another comfort zone, and I'm doing this to the world on YouTube. I just want my costume. Um, and why? Because I want to hold myself accountable. I want to get back in here 21 days. You do something for 21 days, you form a new habit. Right. This is 10 minutes out of my day. That I do for myself okay now I actually enjoy being in here meditating cleaning my energy so every day I'm not going to do a video and chat to people because uh, it defeats the purpose of why I'm doing it but today I'm doing the video just to explain to everybody why I might be taking pictures and just putting them up on the on the community tab uh, so I had a, a, a week off last week I had to because of the energies that were coming in um, I'm back reset back in the game um, and honouring uh, honouring myself uh, which each of you should also be doing I send you all so much love and uh, have the most awesome of days Joanne from the Coldwater Tub Day 1 of 21 signing out